All right. Welcome back, friends, to musicmoose.org. Uh, if you've joined us in the previous lessons here, you've learned the fundamentals of the guitar, how to tune, hold the pick, hold the guitar, get your basic strumming down, and we introduced uh, the three chords, G, C, and D, with the basic strumming pattern. Now I'm going to uh, introduce just a little bit of music theory, basic here, uh, basic theory, which applies to any instrument. Um, and if some of you out there already maybe play piano, you may know this, but um, bear with me on this because it's very good to learn it on guitar too. So, um, if we just start with the low E, you, you'll notice the fret markers on the guitar, and way up here at the 12th fret, this would be where it all starts over. Okay, so if I was to count E, the first fret, F, second fret, F sharp, third fret, G, fourth fret, A flat, fifth fret, A. 6th fret, B flat, 7th fret, B, 8th fret, C, 9th fret, C sharp, 10th fret, D, 11th fret, E flat, and of course the 12th fret would bring us back to E. Okay, now, now, the order of notes doesn't change um, according to what string you're going to be playing. For instance, if I started with an open A, on my first fret here would be a B flat because we go from A up to B flat to B and so on. So, now, it's uh, definitely a lot to take in to try to remember the order of notes all the way up to the 12th fret on every string. And right away, we're, we're not going to ask that of you. But um, what I have found to be kind of an easy thing to start off with, it's still a little, it's still a little bit of a load of information here, but if we take it slowly, um, if I was to stay within the first position, which, which we could, the first position we're going to call right within the first five frets, okay, um, what, what I would start out doing, what I would recommend, is the order of notes on each string just up to the fifth fret because you'll see when your E string, when you fret all the way up to the fifth fret, that becomes an A, okay, which, hey, there's A right there open on the fifth string. So, if I was to do E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, then I would start over on my open A and do the same thing. A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, and hey, looky there, there's an open D. Same thing, I'll go on the fourth, fourth string. D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G. Well, all G, looky there. There's my open G, right there. G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C. Now, here's where, uh, coming to the 5th fret, it changes when you get to the B string. The B string on the guitar is the only one that's not tuned in fourths like the other strings are in relation to A and D, or I mean tuned to fifths, sorry. <laughs> Screwed up there. Anyways, okay, I've got to C on my 3rd string. We start with that open B, C, C sharp. D, E flat, E, which brings me to that first string, there's E. Once again, we'll start E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, and A. Now, given that's a lot to remember, but um, it will be very helpful for you down the road when it comes time to finding your root notes of a certain chord, or perhaps you're getting to the point when you're ready to start jamming with people and it's very helpful when it comes to uh, learning lead lines and, and major minor scales things like that starting in arpeggio which we will cover 
down the road here in the next few lessons. And um, so getting the order of notes chromatically is a good place to start with your music theory. And thanks for listening, friends, and we'll catch you in the next lesson to explain the uh, major scale and the eight notes of the major scale. Thanks for stopping by musicmoose.org.